Right, good morning, YouTube. So, just thought I'd make a quick video about this. I was meant to, to talk about this a bit sooner, but never got around to it. So, about this, this new vegan documentary coming out, what's well, coming out in cinemas, what I'm quite interested in. Just wanted to have a look at this article about it and share with you guys. So, it's called, it's called I Can Never Go Vegan, which is what a lot of kind of say before going vegan. How to, anyway, so it's called I Can Never Go Vegan, How to Watch the Hugely Anticipated Documentary, and it's coming out in cinemas soon. As if it's coming out in my cinema, I don't know. So anyway, a film described as the vegan documentary we've all been waiting for is being released in cinemas next month. That's only a few weeks away. So anyway, and it comes from Dartmouth Films explores and refutes some of the many arguments that non-vegans use against veganism. Yeah, can talk a lot about that. The film is directed by award-winning filmmaker Thomas Pickering, never heard of him, who switched to a vegan lifestyle after being raised vegetarian. I wish I, wish I, wish I was raised veggie, or vegan at least, but anyway. Despite the undeniable benefits veganism has for animals, us and the planet, Pickering has stated that he is constantly being told by others that they are unable to drop animal products. Hmm. There's no excuse now. It's so easy. I Can Never Go Vegan is truly a film for anyone who has ever heard or said these words. Pickering said in a statement, it's not uncommon for me to have daily conversations with friends, colleagues or strangers and for them to utter these words to me. But why? That's exactly what I wanted to explore in this film, seeking to find out whether the arguments that face the vegan movement are justified or not. No, they're not justified. There's no excuse not to be vegan, no excuse for animal abuse. No excuse to stop buying all that shit. <clears throat> arguments against veganism. Arguments explored in the film include all, where would I get my protein? Oh, animals have a good life. B12. Oh, I need my protein. Oh, I need all my... Oh, fuck off. No, it's no excuse. You just get it all from plants. And plus, you don't, you don't really need that much protein anyway. Anyway. As well as the idea that veganism is too expensive, well, it can be if you buy lots of takeaways like I do sometimes, or all that shit, but for the most part, it, yeah, it is cheap. It's very cheap, in fact. The film features a number of well-known faces in the vegan community, including environmentalist and author John Mo George Monbiot, powerlifting champion Sophia Ellis, as well as health professionals, Dr. Shireen Kassam, because it Kassam or Kassam, I don't know, that Dr. Gemma Newman, and Dr. Alan Desmond. I've never heard of any of those. I've heard of George Monbiot, Mon but not the others. Vegan actor Alicia Silverstone endorsed the film, describing it as a vegan documentary we've all been waiting for. Is it now? We've seen quite a few of them, but. Don't know about this one. Looking forward to it anyway. She, alongside musician Alyssa White Gluz, was it Gluz? Don't know. Businesswoman Heather Mills and actor Peter Egan serves as executive producer. Now, how to watch it? There will be two premieres of a film, one in London's Curzon Soho on April the 10th, and the other at Curzon Sheffield on April 11th. Both premieres will also feature a Q&A session and Peter Egan will host the London one. <clears throat> well, I don't know about London, that's far too far for me. So I'm going to have to wait till it gets a bit closer to me, whenever, if and when there'll be. Premier tickets are available to buy on the Curzon website. What is the Curzon anyway? Is that like a theatre? Or cinema? Because here we've got Cineworld, which is where I normally go. The film is set for release for an April the 19th, 
and will be uh, will be available to watch in cinemas in the UK and Ireland. The current confirmed and dates and locations are as follows. Please note there will be more cinema dates added in due course. So let's see. We've got so, uh, Oxford, Brighton, Ritzy, Bath. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So uh, none of these are close to me. Oh, Falmouth, maybe. April 26th, April 28th. So Falmouth is probably my closest, as I'm in Plymouth. Falmouth is just across the Tamar in Cornwall. Trains at Truro on the train. So I'll probably have to see what I'm doing. But those probably look promising. Have to check that out. Falmouth. If anyone comes a bit closer in the meantime, then you can visit that as well. In Plymouth. That for Exeter, Totnes. Will I Can Never Go Vegan be available to watch online? Eventually, I hope. We go on Netflix or something. Pickering confirmed to plant based news that the film will be available to watch online after the cinema release. That's good. How soon? This means that viewers in the US and other countries will be able to watch it. The filmmakers will confirm what online platform it will be on, an, on at a will be on at a later date. Buddy, how can't speak properly? Watch the I can never go vegan trailer. Yeah, why not? Let's, while we're here, let's let's go and watch this. I'm gonna make this full screen. For okay. I don't think many people grasp just how serious this is. All we see is what the industries want us to see. We're talking about, effectively, the collapse of Earth systems. Hello? Hi, Mum. It's Tom. I've got a quick question for you. I mean, Why did you raise me not eating meat? My name's Tom, and I've yeah. never eaten meat. But I can't seem to go a day without hearing from others about why they could never. I wish I could get... I wish I was raised not eating meat. I mean... I was about probably very young when I first about when I first tried to not eat meat, but I was living in a company at the time. But there you go, there you go. I'm quite jealous of people that are raised veggie, you know, or vegan. <clears throat> very, very, very good for them. I think was it David Rams? He was raised, raised vegetarian, I've heard. And the one or two people I've heard of. Anyway, let's, let's continue. Go vegan. Like vegans are malnourished. Climate change. Vegans are malnourished. No, no. Doesn't exist. Jeez, bacon. The food is bloody disgusting. B12, protein. Animals are there for us to eat. Are these reasons justified? I need to know more. I think there is this big misconception around you can't be vegan and strong. What are you going to eat? You go gym. I think there are a lot of vegan bodybuilders out there. I mean, I'm not, I'm not strong at all. But that, even before I was vegan, there you go. But that's just me. But other people, yeah. Jim, where are you going to get protein from? You look at Hench Herbivore. I stood on the Olympic podium just five months shy of my 40th birthday. I need to speak to the experts. Do you think the public. Experts. No. <laughs> They're not experts. Does the public have any idea what goes on in free range farms? In meat-eating cultures around the world, um, people learn to classify a small handful of animals as edible. Issues to do with the use of other animals, the use of women's bodies. Most people have this one-dimensional view of veganism as people who eat salads all day, which is totally wrong. Food has now overtaken other risk factors as being the biggest thing that drives chronic disease in the Western world. Rather than getting healthier, we're actually getting sicker. One in five people die because of an unhealthy diet. The dairy industry has convinced us that bone health is all about calcium and calcium is all about milk. I can't even articulate. Oh, it gives you... Bone gives you strong bones. Oh, it gives you calcium. Blah, 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 fuck off. No, it doesn't. It takes it away, actually. It's completely opposite. And dairy, it's dairy that gives you the osteoporosis and shit. Articulate some of the things that I've seen. When I have nightmares now, it's the sound of those pig screams that I'm hearing. The biggest cause of ecological destruction. Yeah, about what he said about the pig screaming, that it's... 
it's horrible. I've been to videos and you, you can hear, actually hear them from outside. If you've ever been to Hogwarts, absolute shithole place. Evil. And they go into the gas chambers. Yeah, it's not good at all. Disgusting. Humanity, technology and inventions have brought us into this situation. Speaking of which, what's pignorant? Good, good, good documentary situation. We can also reverse that. Nearly 5 million deaths were caused and related to antimicrobial resistance. This is the greatest catastrophe humanity has ever faced. More than, it's more than just a catastrophe. The worst experience of my life. I'm soon right, yeah. It's good, very good. I think they've got, I think it's got a website as well, actually. It might be in the description, actually. I'm just going to want to check it out. Yeah, here you go. April 10th, London and Sheffield. And I'm nowhere near any of those places. So I can never go vegan. Yeah, so that. So what's this, Sonia? Canoe, canoe film, is that the thing? Oh, I'm guessing that's the trailer again. Anyway, um, buy tickets. Probably when it gets the thing for the Falmouth thing. In what, what, what day is it? Oh. Oh, shit, hold on. So it's um, April 26th, April 28th. Oops. What days are those on, actually? <clears throat> I have to check, I might be free. Oh, I'm free on those days. So April 26th is on a Friday, April 28th is on a Sunday, so Friday probably, probably best for Sunday, Sunday service, Sunday maybe, it's Tuesday and Thursday I work, it's tough to see about that, can I check this out, oh, oh buddy, I'll, I'll go away, cookies, So, da, 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 da. Oh, come on. Oh, no. That's that's the panel of the side. I thought that was that's not that's not the film itself. So I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to I'll do that later. Anyway, let's have a little bit more of this. So, meet the team. Thomas Pickering, I'm guessing that he's the main person in that. The director, producer. Father Time, don't know. James Pickering, name sounds familiar. Doesn't really say much about the rest of it. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, that's um, I Can Never Go Vegan. That's the new documentary coming soon, which I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna, I might try and see about booking a ticket for Falmouth to watch that. And I'm gonna probably look, look forward to that, and I hope it comes out on Netflix or something sooner after it premieres. It should be really good. And things like that, another document, they should be on mainstream TV. Not Dominion. Forget EastEnders or Coronation Street, put Earthlings and whatnot on those times and prime time TV every day. Anyway, hope you have a nice day and see you all later.